In this video, we'll show you how to install LSPDFR mod in GTA 5. If you find this helpful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you very much. So to get LSPDFR mod, you can go to lspdfr.com or I'll put the link in the description. So you can go ahead and click that link. In the website, you can scroll down and find this get LSPDFR for GTA 5. Click it and then here click download. You click download this file. It will pop up download terms here if just read it through and if you agree just press agree and download here you can choose a setup or a manual install for this video let's go with the setup because it's easier now if you got the files ready don't open it yet make sure you have a clean copy of gta 5 to make sure of that you can go to epic games if you're using epic games and then gta 5 click the three dots here go to manage and then you can verify it here it will revert your GTA 5 if you have installed any mods before. If you're a Steam user, you can do the same thing. You go to library and then right click on your game, GTA 5, and then go to properties, install files, and integrity of game files here. There you go. So let's open up the setup. And then next, I agree. And here, you can click next again. So here you have to put the mods installation into GTA 5 location. On Epic Games, you can go to library again and then click the three dots, go to manage and go here, open install a location. On Steam, you go to library, right click on your game and manage and browse local files. So for example, I'm using Epic Games here and the directory is in Epic Games and then GTA 5. Just click here and then right click copy and then paste it into the installation process all right let's go ahead and install this okay after you install lspdfr into your gta 5 location you will have this rage plugin hook exe you can open it now and it'll pop up a disclaimer uh, read it through and if you agree you can press accept all right here there's several settings that you have to change a console key you can change the in-game command console and then plugin timer threshold uh, make it 60,000 and go to plugins now and select this load all plugins on startup and now go ahead and click save and launch it's in the loading screen now you can see loading story mode with rage plugin hook it means that we have successfully installed the LSPDFR or rage plugin hook all right, we're in the game now. Let's test if we can load up the LSPDFR mods. So to open the in-game commands, you can press F4. We can type go to PD and then you can press tab and enter. Okay, we're at the police station now. Let's see what we can do here. It seems like LSPDFR is running perfectly. You can press enter to go on duty. But I think that's it for this video. If you find this helpful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you very much.